Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix low FPS and stuttering issue with Star Ocean, the Divine Force game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to recompile shaders. So, launch the game. Now, this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So, recompile the shaders and check. Now, go to system. Now go to graphics. And then scroll down. At the end over here you can see pre-compiled shaders. Now if this is off, you can turn it on and then launch the game. Now still you are facing the problem, then do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here. Select the right operating system over here and then click on start search. Now scroll down. Right now, the latest one is 526 period 47. This is the latest one right now. So whichever is the latest driver, download it and then run the exe file. And then you will see the screen. Click on agree and continue. And then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next after the clean installation restart your computer and then launch the game now after now if you are able to launch the game then you have to recompile the setters after the driver update if the game is not launching in that case you can simply update your driver and then launch the game and if you are able to launch the game you have to recompile the setters after the driver update now for this, launch the game first. Now go to system. Now go to graphics. And then scroll down. At the end over here you can see pre-compiled shaders. Now if this is off, you can turn it on and then launch the game. Now the next step is to roll back graphics driver. To roll back, you can do it from device manager. Make a right click on the start menu, then click on device manager. Now expand display adapter and then make a right click on your graphic card, then click on properties and then go to driver tab. Now if the option which says roll back driver is highlighted, in my case, this is grayed out. If this is grayed out, you can skip this step. If this is highlighted, you can click on roll back driver and after the roll back, launch the game you can also roll back the driver to the previous version on nvidia website again select your graphic card and over here the previous one is 522 period 25 you can download this and then do a clean installation or you can try this 517 period 48 for me this is working fine so you can download it and then make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and then what after the clean installation make sure that you restart your computer and after the system restart if you are able to launch the game then again ring recompile setters now the next step is to update the game so for this make a right click on the game select properties and then go to updates tab and make sure always keep this game updated is selected over here and if there is any update update it and then launch the game next step is to Computer with dual graphic card, make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card. For this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, open program files x86, open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here you will find the game folder. In my case, it's in E drive. So open Steam folder, Steam apps, common. Now open the game folder and then select this exe file and then click on add. In my case, the game is already added. So once the game is added, click on the game and then select options, click on the options, then select high performance. Now click on save and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game as an administrator. For this, go to the game installation folder, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. Now make a right click on the game exe file. 
select properties, go to compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Put a check over here and then click on apply, click on OK and then launch the game. Next step is to try window mode and lower down graphics settings for this. Launch the game first. Now go to system. Now go to graphics. And then scroll down. At the end over here you can see pre-compiled setters. Now if this is off, you can turn it on and then launch the game. So turn it on and then let the let it recompile the setters and then check. Now Now go to graphics once again and over here if quality presets is set to high you can set it to normal or you can even set it to low and then go back and then go to screen. Now over here if screen resolution is set to 4K you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and then over here you can select window mode over here so if full screen mode is on you can select borderless or you can try full screen mode off and then scroll down and if HDR is on turn it off and turn off the VSync so Turn off VSync. Now apply the settings and then check the performance. Now, next up is to update your Windows for this open Windows settings. Go to update and security or Windows update, then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next up is to verify the game file. For this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game next step is to disable steam overlay and close all the overlay applications so make a right click on the game select properties uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game uncheck this and then also close all the overlay applications so if you have discord running close discord if you have g force experience running close g force experience also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner running close, MSI Afterburner. If you have Reva Tuner running close, Reva Tuner. So close all the overclocking applications. Next step is to unplug controller and the gamepad USB dongle. So first of all, unplug the controller and then launch the game. Then you can connect the controller. Also disconnect multiple monitors. So try launching the game on single monitor. Also unplug these devices so if you have devices which are not using unplug these usb de devices also close these software so if you have this software running close this software and then if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to improve the fps and fix the stuttering so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel